Apparently, Joe Rogan is uh, had an interview to Barry Weiss. Oh, yuck, man. And uh, boy, oh boy. Um, you know, like, uh, again, Joe Rogan's podcast is very, very popular, incidentally. Um, Usually popular. And I mean, a positive, it seems like uh, she actually convinced him, I think, to have uh, AOC on. Oh, is that right? So oh, he's good. like, oh, I'm working on it. Uh, that is, I, I believe that shit. That'll be, that'll be good. That'll be very good. Um, but, you know, and, and, I, and I'll be honest, I haven't watched the whole thing. I don't know that I could uh, watch the whole thing with Barry Weiss. Um, <clears throat> but here's an instance where a New York Times columnist uh, just simply uh, validates something uh, based upon what Joe Rogan says. And Joe Rogan validates it because somebody sent it to him on the Internet. Um, again, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of people watching you. I, really, if you have, I mean, from my perspective, like, you know, 2,000 people, 1,000 people, 500 people, you have a responsibility just if you're going to impart information to do some measure of due diligence. And I tell this to all of my elderly relatives who, um, hear something and they get it in an email and they email me like, is this true? And I got this from my in-laws and, and everybody. And I just Let say, me Google this for you.com. Exactly. Oh, what you do off. is you just take, if you get an email from somebody and it seems a little bit wacko, like, do you remember when, um, uh, when bro, you know, John Kennedy said the following that like taxes were bad and this and that. And uh, as social justice warriors are going to ruin the country, you take a phrase and you Google it because more often than not, it's going to lead you uh, to the truth. Here is Joe Rogan not having done that. Behind this, there's, and no, there's no, no I don't understanding. Mean a mastermind, right? But like, I don't think they do understand their implications. The, the, when you have a spectrum, right, the far right and the far left, they have a very similar reaction as they drive a person to the other side. The person that sees the far right and sees repulsive racism and and, and bigotry. That, that, you know, build that wall, fuck these Mexicans, fuck those little kids, they, they should have known better, they're all illegals. That kind of person, that pushes people towards progressivism. It, it pushes people towards m much more liberal, even socialist ideologies. Like, fuck that grossness. Pa and the pause same it for thing one second. Said now, I, I, you know, what, what's fascinating about this, and this is a little bit off the topic of this clip, is just that I don't, I don't think that's the case, frankly, on the left. I don't think... A um, a socialist or a progressive perspective comes from seeing bigotry, because I think you know l largely it's a it's a. I don't think people are reacting to bigotry and they become more left. I mean, I think I think he's or, talking or I think, a little. I kind. I think that's true on the right. I, I think on the right, when people get uncomfortable with with sort of like broader inclusion and it threatens their social status i think they move to the right i think you're right about that i'm not going to debate that but where i think you're not entirely right is i think that he's speaking in a way in fact look he's literally self-diagnosing himself right when he plays a clip if you stand him as like the average centrist whatever way you want to define him if you throw him clips of what's happening with ICE or somebody saying something obscene about detained people, he goes to the right place. And he's like, that's disgusting. We played that clip of him saying, you're not on Team right, Human. Right, right, right. I think there's a lot of normal people who actually, whatever you want to call it, progressive, liberal, socialist, whatever, I think they actually do uh, react very strongly against that I, bigotry. That, but that's different. No, that's, that's what different. he's saying. Well, no, 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 no. That's what he's, he's saying. saying he's, no, he's saying it pushes you to the left. And I don't think that what he was doing there was being pushed to the left. I think he was just oh. simply saying, oh, wait, Trump and you people, you're not on the t you're not on well, team by human. the modern definition that would put him in the left. I mean, no. we can get pedantic. No, about no, no. This, but, I, but I'm but saying like, a... I don't think you adopt an ideology on the left. A, 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 a you know, a, a progressive ideology. You may become, uh, you know, more uh, a, 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 attuned to uh, you know racism and whatnot, 
But that doesn't necessarily mean you move to the left, right? I mean, uh, you know, I, I, think, it, I think in the parlance he's using it, yes, it does mean you move to some sort of left. And I do, I do think that there are people. All right, well, whatever. Yeah, Maybe I mean, whatever. Getting it's getting people. pedantic. But I think that there's something to what he's saying that's actually relevant for us to learn from, frankly. Maybe. People towards progressivism. It, it pushes people towards m much more liberal, even socialist ideologies. Like, fuck that grossness. And the same thing can be said for some, like, I'll, I'm going to send you something, Jamie. This is a real uh, poster that Antifa is sending. Um, they, they were putting on um, on wall on walls and and fence posts and shit in uh, the Pacific Northwest, and uh, it's actually kind of hilarious because it's so stupid. How I'm do gonna, I see it? I'm going to I'm going to send it to Jamie, oh, cool. and Jamie's going to put it up on the screen here. But uh, it it says, uh, "Oops, wrong wrong Jamie. Sorry, Jamie Kilstein." <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, buddy. I uh, just sent it. It says, when you date a white, it's not all right. And it's like, oh it's telling people to not date white people. No, it, propagation of whites is propagation of hatred, oppression, yes. homophobia, sexism, transphobia, racism, and ableism. Now, if I was... A, so are we supposed to yes. sterilize white people? There it is. We can see it up on the big screen, so it's even grosser. Cool, that's Because awesome. it's large. But see, Jesus. this is the thing. Racism is <laughs> racism is terrible, right? So how do you stop racism? Well, racism is can only be per perpetrated by white people. Oh, well, the, the problem is white people. We got to stop white people. Well, now you're racist. Like you're literally being racist to stop. Is this really everywhere? I've never seen oh, this. Oh well, there people are finding it and posting <laughs> oh it online. Oh my god! Oh my god! Right? Yes. It's everywhere. It's probably just one asshole, right? Do but, you see the, the, but the per but the person exists, right? Right, except for the person. Uh, doesn't exist um, because it turns out, I mean, it could be one person. It's probably it's probably someone who uh, wrote that, you know, when we say left is best, I don't know if people remember where that came from, but it was um, a graffiti that was written, I think, in somewhere in Connecticut, Connecticut. at one point. That in my hometown. Right. It was in your hometown? Yeah. And it turned out by some right wingers who wanted to make it look like that was sort of a uh, a little bit ham-fisted, yeah, the left is best. I used to play on that playground. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. know that. wanted to make it look like the but like these leftists were ruining the playground. Did Antifa, and that's how he uh, he introduced it, right, uh, put up this poster in Seattle. This is... Yeah, uh, sorry. We might have gone a little overboard on that one. This is Snopes, and this is a two-year-old, incidentally. It was two years ago this hoax was up there. On December 5th, 2016, a photograph purportedly showing a poster warning against the propagation of whites was published to the website uh, Emerger. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, like weeks after the election, right? When, in fact, the left is best thing happened. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was around that exact same time. And um, the, uh, the local Antifa, to the extent that there uh, was, you know, a, an organized Antifa group in Seattle, I imagine there would have been, um, they said, uh, okay, it's signed by Emerald City Antifa there. And uh, if you go down, keep going. Make sure uh, you sign it They proper. posted to, uh, on December 6, 2016, em Emerald City Antifa posted a Facebook message saying they had nothing to do with either the creation or the distribution of the poster. It also responded to several <laughs> comments explaining that the message expressed in the poster was not in line with their views. Um, so clearly somebody was pretending to be them. So this is this is all I would say is like you look, I, and I didn't watch the whole Barry Weiss thing. But if you have if you're gonna do this, just do like take some, just feel the responsibility of what you're doing. Well, especially it's like, dude, you could totally find, I'm sure, some really stupid examples of the kind of things you're looking for that are real from Twitter or wherever else. And if you really want to. I mean, I feel time choices are politics in and of themselves, but is that really what you think is so important to spend time on? Find a real one, for God's sake. Right, exactly. I mean, I, I'm sure that somewhere in America, Silent Night is, is sung without mentioning Jesus, and that's why there's a war on Christmas. Uh, but 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 honestly, there's But not. for real, I mean, most of the but, heat but, should but, go but on Barry now, Weiss, though. I think she though, is the New York I, Times columnist, for Christ's sake. Right, and, like, and, and I would say this, and I don't know where he was going with this, but um, to equate the implications of something like that poster 
with the institutional and systemic racism we have in this country, they're not the same things. The power makes a difference. The, and and the, um, the power dynamic means everything. And you, to put it in terms of fighting, right? You could say, well, they're both fighters. One of them weighs 90 pounds and the other weighs 230 pounds. But they're both fighting. They're Look, both fighters. When the black Israelites, who it, the, one of the greatest things that happened out of this uh, whole story in D.C. is more people finding out who they are, which I really appreciate in terms of my comedic oh, base. Shit. But uh, like, but if you live in uh, New York or something, they're nothing new to you. And uh, they actually, you know what? Uh, look, they they uh, they are hateful and they yell uh, uh, bad shit. They they trigger white people. And um, if I walk by them and they call me like a devil and they're particularly upset, but if you I'm know, walking, I find you, it you has you zero implications for my life. Yes. It makes no difference. It has no interaction I'm going to have with a bank or a cop or anything. And so you could just generically say, like, you know what? Yeah, I think nobody should be involved in, um, you know, cults that are hateful. I, I sure as a generic proposition, I agree with that. But that has there's zero stakes. It doesn't mean a f fucking thing. Well, for me, the stakes are I get exposed to new ideas. <laughs> <laughs>